angels coming down. So the worship, the prayer, the praise, and the giving is all going up. But you know what? Listen carefully. What goes up must come down. And what that means is this, that those angels coming down the ladder are bringing the blessings of God to my life and to your life. Think about that for a moment. So in other words, we never lose by sowing. We never lose by planting gifts. We never lose by doing good things because as it reaches heaven, God then in return brings the blessing and returns it back to us. So Jacob's ladder is a picture of how God works in our life. And you know what? Because our body is the temple of the Holy Spirit, that ladder can follow us everywhere we go, meaning God's blessings follow us. I take that ladder with me. It doesn't matter if I'm in America, I've got the ladder with me. If I'm in Israel, I've got the ladder with me. If I'm on a plane, I've got the ladder with me. And I can worship and praise God and call on the name of the Lord at any time. And so this dynamic vision that Jacob had is a picture for us today of understanding the favor and the blessing of God of everything we do that goes up to God will eventually come back to us in return. Don't ever forget that. Now I am so thankful thrilled to be able on this uh, telecast from Israel to offer you something very special. I've worked on this for quite some time and now it's been released and I want to get it into your hands. Stay tuned because I'll be back in a moment. Is God sending you a warning or some important guidance through a spiritual dream? Can you discern if your dream was from the Lord? In his new landmark book, How to Interpret Dreams and Visions, Perry Stone lists 50 different biblical symbols often seen when experiencing a spiritual dream. He explains the meaning of the unusual symbols often occurring in a dream, helping you to interpret the meaning of the dream based on scripture. What does it mean to dream the same dream twice in one night? Is there a warning of impending death when you dream of a departed loved one? Why do you sometimes have nightmares or unclean dreams? And how can you change the atmosphere before before you go to sleep to prevent troubling dreams. This book answers these questions and more. Perry explains with scripture the importance of men listening to the warning dreams of their wives and will reveal warnings his wife received concerning the ministry and why God can speak to a wife on behalf of her family. Discover if a warning dream of trouble can be changed through prayer. Perry also brings to light the difference between a sacred dream and a vision. This will be one of the most comprehensive books you will ever read on interpreting God's warning and guidance through dreams and visions. This book is part of gift offer ID91. When you order this new book on dreams and visions through Perry Stone Ministries, Perry will also include a dynamic audio CD where he interviewed his father, Fred Stone, and Dr. T.L. Lowry on their secret of fasting and prayer. These two men of God will help you understand how to tap into God's will through fasting and prayer. Perry's new book, How to Interpret Dreams and Visions, and the audio CD interview, Keys to Prayer and Fasting with Fred Stone and Dr. T.L. Lowry, are now available through the ministry for your gift of $25 or more. You can order now online at perrystone.org or call 1-888-21-BREAD. That's 1-888-212-7323. You may also write to us at Perry Stone, Post Office Box 3595, Cleveland, Tennessee 37320. When writing, enclose your gift of $25 or more and be sure to request gift offer ID 91. Shipping and handling is included. And as always, thank you for watching Manifest with Perry Stone. We look forward to hearing from you today. I can't tell you how excited I am to be able to share the new offer with you on the book that deals with dreams and visions, God's guidance and warning through visions and dreams. Three quick things. In the book, we talk about why do believers have nightmares and even sometimes dirty dreams or carnal dreams. We talk about learning to listen to your wife's warning dream. At the end of the book, we have 50 symbols that are used in spiritual dreams and how to interpret it. And we do it all from Scripture. It's not my opinion. It's all from Scripture. And uh, much more in this book. And I really hope that those of you who watch the Manifest program will take the time this week to order the book from the ministry. You can order on the website at perrystone.org, one 888 bread or write us for $25 or more and over and above the cost of the book. Of course, your donation helps keep Manifest on the air. And I want you to know that. But uh, I'm very excited about this. And also, you know, when... My dad uh, and Brother Lowry, this is one of the last tapings they ever did together where one of them was talking, Brother Lowry was talking about fasting and dad was talking about prayer. And I call these the power tools of, of the impossible. When you 
when you put prayer and fasting together, you're going to be able to solve impossible situations. And I say you, it's actually the power of God uh, that operates as you become obedient with these two powerful tools. And so um, uh, I hope that it's a great blessing to you. I believe it will be. Now, we've got some exciting places we're going to be coming to. Let's take a look at some of the uh, places we're going to be probably partners. Go ahead and plan for the Partners Conference in ten, uh, Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. Also, the Ark of Mercy Church of God in Winchester, Kentucky, a Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. There will be a Saturday morning service at 10. It's in Winchester, Kentucky, East Point Church of God in East Point, Florida. And that'll be a Sunday, May the 29th. And that will be at 11 o'clock and 6 p.m. Then we're very excited on June the 5th, which will be a Sunday through Thursday night, June the 9th, Healing Place Arena, Pastor Dino, Dino Russo, Baton Rouge, Louisiana. All of you folks who live in Baton Rouge, I'm absolutely certain you know about uh, Pastor Dino. He does a lot of great community service all in around the area. And uh, we're going to be coming to his church for our very first major Hebraic prophetic conference. And I was upstairs right before I came down here working on the messages for that particular conference. And man, I am just, I am so fired up to be able to come back to Baton Rouge and be able to be with uh, our wonderful friends and partners in that area. And we're going to ask you to start inviting people to come in advance, especially unsaved people, people that may be away from the Lord, people who want to be baptized in the Holy Spirit. And uh, if you want to learn things from God's Word and want to learn something maybe that you did not know about the Word or about a particular subject, you're going to hear something, learn something, and feel something. You're going to feel the presence of God. So make your plans right now for that. And just real quick, let me go through something else. Tampa, Florida, June the 12th, City Life Church. Uh, that's a Sunday at 10.30 and 6.30. Then I'm going to do the camp meeting in the Church of God Campground in Wamama, Florida, Monday, June 13th. The Church of God Camp meeting on Wednesday, Monday through Wednesday, June the 20th through the 22nd in South Carolina. And then Thursday and Friday, DeMarva, D.C. at Seaford, Delaware, uh, June 30th and July 1st. And I'll go to our website at perrystone.org, and you can see all the places that we're going to be coming to, Tulsa, Oklahoma, Marietta, Georgia, Huntington, etc. And we emphasize this because these are places that you can come and hear the Word and be blessed by the Spirit of God. God is really helping us in what we're doing uh, with our youth ministry. We're proceeding forward with some uh, plans that the Lord has really put in our heart. We're excited about that. We're also excited, you know, from usually January the 1st to about the end of May, we do an Israel series that we tape in Israel on location. That's what you've been watching on the Manifest program for the past couple months. And uh, we always take our trip, you know, in the month of November, and we have uh, seats available for our trip if you'd like to go and be a part of that. But the most important thing I could say to you in closing is if you do not have a redemptive covenant through Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, pray the prayer and ask Christ not only to forgive you of your sins, but to come into your life and make Him both Savior, that means saving you from your sin, and Lord, meaning He will direct your life. If you'll pray that from your heart and mean it, Lord Jesus, forgive me of my sins and come into my life, he will do that. So wherever you're watching Manifest, anywhere in the world, don't you think it's time to get right with God? Don't put it off. A lot of people are passing away, even friends that we know and people we've known for years. Today is the day of salvation. And don't forget that. Make your calling and election sure through prayer and through seeking God. I'll be back next week.